Hello and welcome. We'll take off from where we left off in the previous video. In this video, we'll take uh, we'll continue to add more commands into our pig script here. So just to recap, we have a real estate.pig file here that contains a list of pig commands, uh, Apache pig commands, and that's and this file is basically loading uh, this flat text file that is located uh, within the Hadoop file system. And this is the command that loads this file. It loads it into the listings uh, temporary table and uh, it assigns these uh, field names to it. And then uh, I modify this um, uh, set of listings by using a for each command. Uh, what I do is I have a to date function. This is a um, function defined within Apache pig to convert a string into a date. So right now the date value in our data set is stored as a string initially. And here we convert that using this particular format, we convert that into a date and uh, store it into the date listed. And then we just dump all the data onto the screen. So instead of doing that, I will just comment this out. So you can just put a double line and that will comment out a particular command. And uh, I'm going to paste another command that will create a new temporary field, temporary table called big homes. And it's going to filter the listings data where um, the square feet is greater than or equals 2000. So we'll now only retrieve those records in the listings table where the square feet is at least 2000 or more. And we will save that data in big homes. So again, to look at the data, those uh, records would be this one here, this one here, and then this one here, because if you look at the square feet, it's greater than 2000 and also this one here. I'd like to then uh, create a new temporary field called big homes underscore date price and retain only the listing ID, the date listed and the list price among all the fields in big homes. And finally, I would like to dump the results of the contents of big homes underscore date price onto the screen for us to look at. This is actually an, uh, not a strictly necessary step, but we are doing this only so that we can see the results immediately. And I also want to store the table, the temporary table contents um, into a new folder called home data within class two inside Hadoop. So this is inside Hadoop actually that we are saving it, we are storing it. And so when we run this command, Hadoop is going to, pig is going to automatically create a folder called home data within the folder called class two, which is within the folder called my data. And inside this home data, pig is going to uh, save a bunch of different files whose names are automatically generated. And those files will contain the contents of big homes date price. So let me save this and let me go back here onto the command prompt and I'm going to run pig real estate dot PIG and press enter. This will take a while. So now the pig script has run completely and you can see now it has uh, dumped some data onto the screen for us to look at. So in this data set, it shows only the ID, the date and the price of the home. And that's according to the instructions we had given in this particular line here. Um, so for each big, big homes generate only the listing ID, the date listed and the list price. And that's all that we see here, listing ID, date listed and list price. And it is also filtered to contain only those records where the square feet are at least 2000 or higher. And that is also what you see reflected here. You do not see records where the square feet is lower than 2000 square feet. Now, finally, we need to verify that this data has been saved inside um, the Hadoop distributed file system as per this command here. So I'm just going to do an ls, uh, Hadoop ls, fs dash ls, my data class two, and then let's see if there is a folder called home data. And there is a folder called home data here. That's the folder. So I want to look inside that folder. And you can see inside the home data folder, there are three files here. There is a success file, there's a logs file. And finally, there is a part dash m dash five zeros file. That's the file that contains your actual data. So we can view that using the cat command. And you can see that this file contains the ID, contains the date time, and it contains 
the price of the home and it won't, it contains those four records that we saw up here as well so we know that this particular uh, pig script is working exactly as we intended it to so these are all some ways in which you can make use of apache pig to um, read a file in the hadoop distributed file system and process the file and slice and dice it and transform it into a new kind of file and save it back into the hadoop distributed file system so i hope uh, you found this interesting thanks for watching